The legacy of black cowboys in the West is far too often an untold story, but some rodeos are hoping to change that narrative. Recently, some school kids from across the valley got a hands on history lesson when they saddled up next to a rodeo Hall of Fame legend. Our Warren Trent has this story for us this morning. It would begin as a typical day at Westwood. A landscaper hard at work. Horses being tended to. But on this day, the audience taking in all the rodeo action were not your typical fans. Kick up, kick, kick. These boys and girls ages five and up are from a Valley Youth Development group called Afro Scouts, watching their very first rodeo. I think for um, our black youth, sometimes it's good to expose them to things that they wouldn't necessarily be exposed to. Students also learn a bit of history. Today I'm representing Bass Reeves, the first black United States Marshal. I'm hoping to learn some new stuff about rodeos that I haven't heard of yet. Conversations about black history can take place anytime, 365 days a year, not just in the month of February. And that's exactly what took place here at Westworld, where a number of students learn firsthand about cowboys and cowgirls at the Arizona Black Rodeo. Build as the hottest show on dirt is in its 10th year, hosted by the Arizona Informant newspaper. It's something for the community. It's something about uh, historical purposes for African Americans and cowboys in the West. People are not aware that 83% of the cowboys in the Old West who rode the Chisholm Trail, taking the cattle to market, are all cowboys and cowgirls of color. Representation certainly matters to these students who saw ladies barrel racing and a lot more. <laughs> with tricks on our horses or whatever. <laughs> These cowboys and cowgirls who took part have their own professional careers and came to Scottsdale from across the country. It is a circuit that they travel on. Most of them come from down south in the, in the west coast. So we got guys from California, but we also have guys from Oklahoma, uh, Louisiana, and Texas as well. I wanted to see horses or ride them or something like that. But perhaps the biggest thrill for the students came after the rodeo, where they had a chance to not only see the horses up close, but were invited by retired champion bull rider Charles Sampson to ride Stormy. Sampson is the first African American to win a world championship in professional rodeo. I asked this Rodeo Hall of Famer about his career, but to do so, I had to meet him up at his level. Ugh, get up there, buddy. So under the watchful eye of Stormy, I did just that. Yeah, I've been injured. I've been on top of the bulls, under the bulls, on the side of the bulls. Right. I've been all over the bulls. I just see me and those kids. I see me as a you know, little kid, just with no idea you know, what it's like to be around a big animal. I was afraid. It was certainly a day of smiles for these kids and for a legendary cowboy, creating lasting memories. To see these kids just, you know, just be around the animals and just love it is, is joy to me. <laughs> it was a very memorable day, captured forever. I'm Warren Trent, Arizona's family.